When you act and when you are playing a role, you get totally lost. You become that person. You forget yourself. The artists have that same thing. When they are painting, they get lost in their work. They immerse themselves so totally that they forget about everything else. My name is Sabira Merchant, and primarily I think I'm known for being an actor. I've been acting for over, well, 55 years. It was many years ago, in 1964. I already had three children by that time, and I was all of 21 years old. I went to a couple who was very well known in theater in those days, the Padamsees, and I declared that I wanted to act. They were casting for a play called The Word, and they cast me as a schoolgirl. And I just loved the thrill of it, the feel of it. So that's how I started acting, and ever since then, so. When I was in school, I did some study of art. As a young girl, and I saw the Mona Lisa, and I just couldn't leave her. It was just so beautiful. Great works of art, Degas, inspired me. But I actually started collecting because I felt, here, I would like to own a piece of art that made me happy and it gave me a sense of peace. My husband at that time was not very much into art, but he told me, if you like to do it, just go ahead. Then he got interested in art, and then we both started collecting. So that was the story, and this was in the 70s. The Indian art scene at that time was very prolific. A lot of good artists around. They used to come and see me acting, so they knew who I was. Almost every piece of art that I have has been sort of associated with the artist and I've met them. We met Shanti Dave, Gaitonde, and Lakshman Shrestha, Kali Pandol, who had the Pandol Art Gallery. And he called me up. He said, I have this wonderful piece of Gaitonde, just come and see it. I went there and I fell in love with it. I like that. And I said, I wanted it. Then I got the second Gaitonde. It's called the Rising Suns. That's what it gives you a sense that the circle's going up and the deep yellow tone in it. The yellow is awareness and awakening. I like that very much. It's exactly opposite my sofa. So I, every day when I sit on that sofa, I look at the painting and I enjoyed it for all these years. I met Gaithon through Kali Pando. Kali introduced me to him. Gaithon was quieter, unassuming kind of person and didn't have any sense of importance at all. Very unassuming completely immersed in his paintings. The advice that I would give to new collectors is to collect the art that you like to possess, that pleases you, not just because it happens to be the style of the day or it happens to be an artist that's particularly in, particularly well known. Keep the art because it gives you a certain sense of peace, serenity or disturbance, whatever. But it must give you something. It must mean something to you.